everyone, welcome to your December week one reading. These dates are going to be from Wednesday, December 1st, 2021 to, I believe, Sunday, December 5th, 2021. As you guys know, these readings are timeless and signless. So even though I'm willing it to be within that time frame, it really doesn't have a time frame. <laughs> if it resonates, it's for you. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me, please do reach out. And if you'd like to have a um, live Zoom energy healing session with me, go ahead and reach out as well. All the information is on Etsy, Etsy. All right, so let's jump in. Whoa, okay, speaking of jump, this card. <laughs> oh, card number three, okay, we can do that. Looks like things will be happening in a certain order for, oh, all right, our energies are coming in. Mm. I was gonna say, it looks like uh, things will be happening in a certain order for some of you during the month of December. Some of you will be going in a certain order, okay? Now, that being said, uh, if you feel like Spirit is directing you to do certain things first and then the next, you know, put your, uh, I, I said that at 1 minute and 11 seconds, so that just goes to show you, there's a reason why they're directing you to do things in a certain order and in a certain way. As I said that, 1 minute and 22 seconds. So please do follow that to a T if that is for you. So in this first week though, um, yeah, again, that's not all of you. All of you will not be asked to do things in that manner, but I think a good bit of you will. And I'm getting actually, it's going to be for eight days. So you can think of this up until the eighth, you know, this kind of energy. And part of that is because uh, some groundwork is being laid. Hold on, guys. <sighs> oh, there's a lot of um, energy flowing right now, which always makes me yawn. <laughs> um, I do feel that uh, for a couple of you, I just keep getting the number five now for a few of you. I don't know why it's possibly a symbol they're going to work with with you guys. Um, it could be about the fifth day. Who knows? But some of you are going to have to, oh, <laughs> duh, <laughs> um, your throat chakra. Because I was just about to say, <laughs> some of you are going to have to, um, it seems like advocate for yourself. I'm getting you're going to have to extol upon your virtues, right? <laughs> you're going to have to sing your own praises, toot your own horn. And while some of you may not be so comfortable with that spirit is pointing to number three which is going to be your third chakra the solar plexus or the will center snap into it right <laughs> you're going to have to you know shore up you're going to have to put your best foot out there by the way th your fifth chakra is your um, throat chakra so um they're saying lead with intention thank you guides so lead with intention and they're saying not necessarily to kind of like say you're manifesting and all this of course manifestation is always going on but it's about shoring yourself up it's about collecting yourself which basically is a really great way in english to talk about what's happening on an energetic level or what's happening is that you're literally collecting the pieces of you pulling it together and coming forward to set an intention to make a decision to make a plan to um decide that you're going to do something a certain way so you might find that you'll have to advocate for yourself or sing your own praises to your own horn because maybe there's something that can be for you but the sole lesson here is if you can reach out for it all right so um this is one of those times in life where uh spirit is saying yes you can have something that you dream of but we are going to make you work for it. This is going to be one of those things where, you know, what do they say? Yeah, uh, fortune favors the bold. That, that, it's funny that that term came to mind because that reminds me about the, the title of one of Moon Mama Musings' most recent um, or more recent peepholes. If you don't know Katie O, um, she has a channel called Moon Mama Musings. Um, on YouTube and on Instagram and on YouTube she puts out daily quote-unquote peepholes which basically looks at the astrological transits and just what's going on astrologically and um, a lot of times there's overlap because duh it's the energy <laughs> we're just reading the energy in the air and so if you feel like this message might be for you during this first week four minutes 44 seconds go ahead and check it out check out her thing um, her video called I believe it was fortune favors the bold or fortune favors the brave, something like that. All right. 
Anyway, so Spirit is saying that they're going to be uh, they're going to be um, teaching you guys. This is feeling a little bit like a fifth chakra kind of moment, <laughs> month moment, because I'm just getting I am, and you're like practicing I am bold. <laughs> they're like, okay, good, good, another one. I am courageous. <laughs> so I'm just getting this energy that you're being taught how to step into how to embody the energy that is required now that you have come through a certain part in your life. You guys know we all just came through the 1111 gateway. We all just came through major portal recently. You know, we just had the solar eclipse. We had a lunar eclipse not too long before that. So the whole point is portals and portals are everywhere. <laughs> Advancement is everywhere. So um, it's time now for you to start, you know, walking that walk and learning how to talk the talk to match the new vibration that you're at. This card is literally about devotion, right? And then we have this beautiful card here, which basically looks like her saying, I am. And then we've got this card where there's been a release, right? So you see um, the first week of December, and again, I may remind you that they did say up until the 8th, is going to be about getting those training wheels uh, working. I don't want to say off because again, you've already stepped up to the plate. You've already entered a new paradigm, but now they're teaching you how to embody that with confidence. <laughs> I love it. Um, I do see that there are going to be some tests, but it's more like assessments and calibrations. I see that because I went to pick this deck up. They're also having me split this. We'll look at that card and I ended up splitting it and look at this. Yeah. There are going to be some self appraisals. It's self appraisals, right? But it's really like them. It's, it's almost like uh, your guides are saying, okay, now sing. You're like, me, 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 me. And they're like, no, E flat, E flat. And you're like, oh, <laughs> sorry. And then you try it again. <laughs> Here it is also like you're going to be um, receiving feedback from spirit. Now, when you receive feedback from spirit, of course, guys, listen, we could, we, if you know how to listen and you've honed that, you can hear them. And it doesn't have to just be auditorily. You can read the signs that they give you. But if you find that you struggle with that a bit, worry not. They always send their messages through messengers. This video is one of them. But you could see it off the side of the bus. You can overhear it at the grocery store. Your two-year-old can say something and you could be like, what? What, the, uh, what? what did you say? And they're like, blah, blah, blah. You, know, you know how these kids are. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, my kid was just babbling, but I could have sworn he just said a full sentence to me and I could repeat what the sentence is. Yeah, that's because they superimposed the message on top of your child's physical voice, okay? Anyway, the third part here that we saw is this queen of scrolls. Now, what's, <laughs> what she's saying here is, do you get it now? <laughs> There's a little bit of like, do you get it now? This is your eye test. This is your comprehension test. This is your awareness test. So basically you're being recalibrated and they're going to, during that recalibration, um, check your perception. Funny off to the left here, we have this card, perception. So just to summarize a bit, we're, this is the week one reading for the month of December. And as you know, coming through November, November was kind of like, let's just say it a portal month. It was a closing up, a wrapping up of quite a, quite a lot of things. And so we have now been dropped off to whatever um, energetic uh, frequency we are to be at based on our decisions. And that means that not only are we in this new state but we've got to start embodying a certain way of being and moving throughout this new space that we're occupying and just as you would with any new vehicle or anything like that it's being assessed it's being appraised or imagine you're in this gundam suit okay i know some of you know what that is and if you don't <laughs> it's okay <laughs> um <laughs> Look it up, G-U-N-D-A-M. Anyway, so imagine you're being outfitted for this new Gundam suit, right? They're going to be like, now raise your right hand. You're like, Zzz, and you know, they check to see if you're aligned with the machinery that you're in. All right, hold on. Let me just check what's on the stove, guys, because we're doing this live with me cooking. <laughs>
Oh my god, it actually tastes good. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Go me. Anyway, so that's where you find yourself. Now it's almost like they're drawing this line. So that's message number one for the beginning of um, December. Again, oh, let me just go back to what I said at the end of November or a moon reading that I did recently. I can't remember which one, but they were saying that, re oh, it was week four of November. They were saying that, remember, um, week four of November was kind of like a rest time. So you may have found that the activity around you has just quelled a bit. And even if it hasn't, you may feel like you... It's kind of like looking around like, uh, did time stop? I'm twiddling my fingers here. I'm bored. I'm, I don't know what to do with myself. I'm not feeling that rush of pressure or urgency that I've been feeling for the last few months. And that's because things are wrapping up a major cycle, right? The solar eclipse uh, occurring alongside the new moon um, has, has brought in like a whole new cycle, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. So here we are beginning. But one of the messages that Spirit brought through in week four of November was that for some of us, that, I don't want to say tranquil, but that downtime of week four will continue up until, it could continue up until week two of December, okay? Um, and here we have the guides talking about the 8th of December, right? But either way, this is not for all of you. For some of you, it will continue. It can continue up until the second week, and for others, you'll get started right away with a new dynamism and new and a new energy. Um, anyway, no, let's not use that one card. Let's uh, jump into what else Spirit wants to say. They made me create space, so I don't know if they're going to repeat that same message in another way, or. <laughs> All right. I'm just getting the words you know better. So, ooh, guys, be careful if the way you're talking to somebody, especially if it's a younger, younger brother or just whatever, 12 minutes, 12 seconds. They're saying you know better. There's going to be something about the way that you go about doing something. This is kind of giving me vibes of one of the moon readings I talked about recently, and it may have been one that I said keep on the lookout because it was giving me December energy vibes. <laughs> these moon readings, just think about them as these early energies coming in, but... Um, yeah, be mindful of the way that you're saying things, especially the people who are in a position that is subordinate to you in, in some way, either they're like you're a mentor and they're a junior or, or, or you're senior and they're junior, or you are an older brother or older sister or just something like that. Be mindful, okay? Because you might get clapped back is what I'm getting. <laughs> it's so funny. And when I say that, it's like you might get a little you know, complacent and, you know, you're the one in, in a position of authority at 13 minutes, 13 seconds or leadership. And so you might kind of um, just be using your regular spiel to tell them what is. It's funny. Look at the wisdom card. Look at this teacher looking here. Um, and maybe in your, mm, in your comfort, your complacency, you don't realize something like the times have changed or this one particular person doesn't need that method of um they may you know it may be around approval as i split the deck here i'm seeing this card here it may be about approval this is this is giving me a little bit of a mixed vibe vibe of maybe you're you've re you're resting on your laurels you're getting too comfortable in the position that you're in maybe you're just in a position of superiority or again you have the authority for whatever reason and you're comfortable thinking that i have this position so that makes me right now you know every teacher knows that it should always be student-based so what are the needs of the student that is before me and you might find this student to be much more adept right this student uh, may not necessarily need your uh your throwing around of your authority they they don't need necessarily to be taught what to do because they might come to you already knowing what they might need is something more in line with motivation or confidence or they might have a question of you know there's something else that doesn't that may not relate to the material that you're actually imparting so spirit is saying with this card don't be afraid to delineate from 
where you are, what have I been doing lately? Am I doing that right? Anyway, uh, don't be afraid to take a detour <laughs> from where you, um, uh, what, where, what you would usually do when it comes to dealing with this student. They're vibing as a student. They don't need to be a student, but you get it. And look at this, new beginnings, yeah? So this is a beautiful thing because we do have new beginnings all over uh, for us. And that does mean, you know, working on yourself in terms of trying to, you know, get, get to a place where you're not afraid to take a step out. Because imagine this person. Imagine, oh look, the rest of rejuvenation card. We've been talking about that. This is, look at this old and wizened teacher right here with his book, literally a book of wisdom. And he's looking at this young family here. Right? The dog's like, you come in? <laughs> you come in? We're, we're heading over. Are you ready? You know, you look a little ungrounded. Yeah, because look at him. He's a little bit nervous now. 15 minutes and 55 seconds, as I said that. And here's the, the other five, right? Um, he's a little bit nervous because he's looking at them. And it's kind of like, oh, these are the new people. Or these are the new kids. Or this is the new generation. Or this is the new form of thought. Or this is the new hire. Or this, is, this is something new. And you can also participate in the new you know, I think a lot of people get threatened when something new comes around because they automatically feel like, oh my God, I, do, I don't know that. And, and because I don't know the new stuff, the new manual, the new whatever, that makes me outdated and unnecessary. And sometimes instead of kind of taking a moment to kind of brush up on things or be in a state of vulnerability and admit, you know what, I have a lot to offer here, but I got to admit, I'll be learning alongside you when it comes to some of these new principles or these new whatevers. Instead of doing that, they may kind of clam up and kind of be in their ego and act like, oh, well, there are new things here, but you know what, that's just, I'm still waiting to see how that pans out. In the meantime, let's go with this tried and true method that I just happen to be an expert at, right? And so watch the ego, watch the attitude, but I'm getting part of it is ego, but part of it is just fear, like I said. So make the effort, right? See this effort? And this is beautiful because I'm kind of getting this idea that sometimes we think as mentors as teachers as people in authority we think that when we are experiencing oh and parents too the guys are chiming in yeah sometimes as parents we think that we are how could i say like we're very aware of where we see a shortcoming in ourselves we're aware of our sense of um our lack of confidence and what our blind spots are and what our Achilles heels are and we expect that the student or the child or the employee or the mentee or whatever is going to see that as well and we take it then a next step and we think oh well they're going to think I'm no good and I've lost my credibility here and so therefore defense mechanism I'm going to go into ego or I'm going to hide or I'm going to whatever this card here is saying actually a lot of times that's kind of not fair because we're projecting our insecurities onto this person this young mind that has come to us and only they really know what it is that they're thinking about us and see this lovely student my spirit eyes are seeing this as this a student yeah drawing this picture you know painting this picture and it's of his mentor and his uh, of his teacher his mentor and his mentor's wife or one of the followers or whatever and so it's like the teacher doesn't realize that this student is actually so enamored with them and so values them and isn't thinking oh my teacher is whack you know as much as the teacher is thinking that way so let's go ahead and summarize the guides are saying so we can keep it all together together as a theme think about the first week of december and moving into a little bit of the second week up until the eighth as a time of new beginnings we're coming fresh off the new moon and fresh off the um solar eclipse so think about a solar eclipse as three times the potency of a new moon and if you remember the new moon is always a time to set your intentions about what you would like to see manifest over the the upcoming moon cycle the month basically and so we start this month and this moon cycle hot and heavy with new energies and we are asked to respect the the rest that has been given to us rejuvenate allow ourselves to um, be in that space but at the same time um, 
at the same time, what was it? <laughs> this is me trying to summarize everything I just said in 20 minutes. Um, at the same time, yeah. Uh, yeah, thank you. <laughs> They're so funny. They're like, shore up, Janelle, collect yourself. I'm trying. Which also reminds me of what they said, uh, which at the same time asks us to collect ourselves, right? As we take this new step forward. And we are also being asked to embody the new way of being. This is also going, tying in with this message. <laughs> Phew, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> um, anyway, um, so it's going to be a practice for some of you because, yeah. Yeah, well, all of a sudden we've been elevated in some way and it's like, oh, wait, I'm now the lord of this manor. I'm the lady of this manor, but I feel like a pauper. Yeah, but you're, you are at a new station, so you have to um, walk with that confidence and spirit will be teaching you. So not only will you be resting during some of you during this first week of December, but you will be relinquishing any ego, any fears that you will not be able to embody whatever this new way is um, you're going to allow yourself to be vulnerable you are for somebody here you're going to be writing so some of you will be actually doing some writing 21 minutes and 21 seconds could be journaling or could be actually starting to write um, <laughs> oh man they're so good it's so funny because I literally <laughs> just started writing today <laughs> after a while well somewhat <laughs> uh, anyway and um, yeah, and they're saying, don't worry. Don't worry about anything. Just move forward because there's a lot of worrying going on here. And they're, at, they're asking you to remember that you've already created soul contract. There's, there are people, places, things, and situations that are waiting and ready for you to come in. All you need to do is make the decisions that will put you on the path to head to these respective places. And so that's all there is to it. Okay, yeah. Um, don't be afraid if you have to speak up again. I'm just seeing speak up and now I'm getting that for some of you, you may actually have to speak up in a way that puts you not at odds in a negative way like I hate you, but puts you at an ideological, at ideological odds with your colleagues, for example, at work, right? So there's going to be some type of branching off here or, you know, you see things differently and spirit is, is encouraging you to speak up. Just because you see something different doesn't mean differently doesn't mean that you're wrong. Just because you're on the outside of things doesn't mean that you're wrong. And again, speaking up is something they're going to be teaching you to do and to do with confidence during this first week. All right. Okay. So I am going to, thank you, Spirit. I am going to go ahead and leave this here for you guys. I wish you the best of luck and keep an eye out for the December monthly reading if you haven't um, watched it as yet, okay? Also, make sure to keep up with uh, the um, moon readings that I post. I try to post them <laughs> as often as I can, but you know how it is. Um, but anyway, keep up with them because they do have some themes that um, all tie in here. Anyway, God bless you guys. If you'd like to have a personal reading with me or to have an energy healing with me uh, live via Zoom, please do feel free to reach out and um, hit me up. All right, until then, much love and many blessings. Bye.